Hello boys and girls, how's it going? How's it going? This is Ari in the house and since I'm a deserter in a PvP battle, instead of bringing a PvP video, I'll, sh I'll show you and tell you how to play a restoration druid. First of all, restoration druid is completely different from all the other healers, if anything somewhat close to shaman, but not really, as far as I can see. First of all, your main important skill you need, stat you need is intellect. First of all, intellect is, you don't even, don't even talk about uh, spirit, let's just talk about intellect. That's all you need. It's simple as that, it's a simple rule to know. Second of all, you need to decide whether you, when you want to play a restoration, whether you want to play haste or mastery build. So you either can be the guy who pops heals or the guy who casts heals uh, with life bloom up at all times and just throws in abilities here and there. Whether you decide to do one or the other, it, I believe as far as I can tell, does about the same amount of healing, it's just a different play for you. I believe one is more constrict and the other will be more of, um, you know, play around for it. Yeah, but uh, I haven't tried the other one yet. I just do the caster one. Uh, first of all, you want to grab the first three, as you can see, and first two. I'm not even going to explain this to you guys. You can read the abilities as you want them, because Mr. Pandari is going to change up where you actually have customizable like talents that you can do whether one person can do one and the other can do the other it won't matter too much of how much healing you're putting it just depends on how you want to play how you like to play some of the uh, most important ones you gotta grab is revitalize whichever build you want to do because that is your pretty much mana gain you, since you don't need too much of spirit you still as you get the right gear I'm not even gonna talk about gear because basic thing is just get the right gear get the gear that uh, the vendors provide get the gear that drops get the gear uh, for 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 restoration and for uh, balance it's gonna be just about the same uh, you want to grab that hand over there for a uh, dispel of magic some people decide to omit that and grab something else I would grab that in case because of the uh, let's just say for example the uh, Zon ooze the, yeah that read from dragon soul that guy puts a debuff on people allowing a lot of damage and if you can't dispel it well then you're just an awful healer and most important I decide to grab tree form in my in my build some people decide not to but I believe it helps out a ton in some healing when it's needed plus it's a great defensive Furor I grab because I, I like extra extra mana I, you don't have to grab it when you get if you're you know comfortable with yeah I don't, I don't need too much mana but you can just grab someone else if you want to all right, so let me show you the rotation. Some people don't understand this part. This is the cast rotation. Put up three life blooms, and you spam nourish. That's it. That's it. And um, if anything different is in the middle of all that commotion, with you putting up two life blooms and spam nourish on the tank, you can proc some abilities just in the middle. You can grab regrowth and throw it on a guy who's needing a lot of health. You can pop rejuvenation around your team members, whoever needs it. Swift men, you usually want to pop in an area where it's going to be concentrated battle where you guys are going to move around, and as long as they're in a circle, they get healed. Also pop wild growth for your party members with the lowest health who really need that health to gain the periodic health boost. So also you can use cooldowns in such fashion since I'm a troll. I can use berserk which increases my haste instead of being like 2 seconds, there it's uh, 1.78. It uh, doesn't seem like much, but it helps out a ton. Nature Swiftness is great for if you're a caster. Uh, you pop it and you can pop, I don't know, any uh, long-term casting ability you got to insta-heal. Tranquility is pretty much like wild growth, but maxed out. It's probably one of the best abilities I think we have. And uh, Tree Form, it's more for a master build where you just, you know, can spam rejuvenation and with it. It's just going to crit more than half the time. But it's still good for a uh, caster build with a lot of haste, at least to my belief. Also, also it's a great defensive when things are just going really bad. You also can pop Bark Skin to amplify defense for yourself. And thank you guys for watching this video. This has been Ari.